According to multiple studies by scientists in Italy, Spain, California, and the UK, CBD kills breast cancer cells and significantly reduces the size of tumors. Cannabidiol was particularly effective at inhibiting aggressive breast cancers. First, scientists at California Pacific Medical Center discovered a key gene which enables breast cancer to spread. Then they tested the pot compound and realized it could actually inhibit that gene's destructive path and stop the spread of tumor cells and potentially do it without harming a patient. We know that this compound extracted from cannabis is non-toxic in patients because it has already been used for different kind of disease. The benefits may not stop there. Scientists say the cannabis compound may fight other aggressive cancers, including prostate cancer. Likewise, in 2005, researchers at the University of Wisconsin demonstrated that cannabinoids can kill prostate cancer. In 2013, an article published in the British Journal of Pharmacology concurred. Additionally, in 2008, a study by researchers in Sweden concluded that cannabinoids can kill blood cancers, like non-Hodgkin lymphoma. In 2013, scientists at the University of London found that cannabinoids kill cancerous cells found in people with leukemia. It is pretty obvious not only from our work, but from work from many other researchers, that the plant has a very wide therapeutic potential. If the previous studies weren't enough proof that cannabis can kill many types of cancer cells, a study by researchers at the State University of New York determined that cannabinoids are toxic to oral cancers, and researchers at Alcala University in Madrid, Spain found that cannabinoids inhibit the growth of liver cancer. There are also studies showing that cannabinoids can treat skin, colorectal, ovarian, bladder, and other types of cancers. Medical marijuana has grown to a point where the government looks foolish saying it's not a medicine, it is a medicine. Even other nations, corporations, and special interest groups are actively hindering this scientific breakthrough that could save millions of lives. If we can do something for people, why not do it? If something can help somebody, why not let those people have that?